friends thank you for welcoming me here i am really very really happy to join the family of msmes there is i have heard many of the previous speakers and one thing is common in the talks of many of you and that is that many of you feel that this job is not very high profile this ministry is not very recognized and the task which you are doing is not recognized in the normal course of administration friends i have been in government for a fairly long time and i can say that there is no reason to feel like that you should not feel that you are not doing a very high profile job and particularly in this situation msme sector is very important you might be knowing i have been told by my predecessor secretary that there are around 6 to 7 crore msmes in the country if you add 2 3 workers and 2 3 at least 2 3 family members the minimum average depending on a msme unit the number of people depending on a msme unit would come to around 4 or 5 so around 25 30 crore people of this country depend on the sector which you are managing and helping think of your reach think of your excess and think of the dependency of the people on this ministry it's almost 1/4 or 1/5 of the population which depends on this sector and particularly the people who depend on these units they are not very big people they are generally small people marginalized people and in this situation you might be hearing the news in the tv that many of them they are in such a situation they are not able to organize even two meals for themselves this includes owners this includes vendors and this this includes family members of those owners currently as you know we are passing through a very very difficult time this is not a so the biggest socio economic challenge for india or not only a challenge for the world but i feel that this is the biggest challenge ever in the human civilization and those who are already on the margins they are the worst sufferers the poor and the marginalized are the worst sufferers so your task and my task is to help this category of people so take my words you are not doing a less uh, a less lesser job or a low profile job and uh, while i have come in this situation i have a few tasks at my hand which i have set myself as my own agenda and i take this opportunity to tell to take to tell all of you about the same friends the first and foremost thing for us would be to save the backbone of these units msme units and the backbone of those entrepreneurs who run these units because reel ki haddi bachi rahegi to baad mein wo khada ho jayega and along with that the second task would be to see that those units are not lost those jobs are not lost and they sail through this difficult time the third thing would be to discover some good opportunities to use this crisis as an opportunity and to make our msmes uh, do to take those opportunities and supply certain things either in the national market or in the international market i can tell you one uh, one episode from my own personal experience i have been asked by the government to to be a member of one of the covid management groups group number 3 and that group number 3 is for procuring the medical equipments like ppe masks ventilators etc when we uh, started the meetings i was shocked and surprised to know that there is no capacity in this country to make ppes or even the masks as a small an item 
uh, like in like a mask so it was a shocking uh, exposure and everything was being ordered from being imported but the other surprise is that within very few days we could connect the dots we could organize and we could coordinate with certain players and now uh, we are producing almost more than more than a lakh uh, ppes per day so it's just a question of connecting certain dots connecting certain processes and perhaps that is our one of the most important jobs after we have dealt with this crisis and after we have been able to save certain units all almost all units and the jobs our next important task would be to create something big for the country some big companies and after passing successfully through this urgent situation i would say that the important task at our hand would be to create certain big companies friends i have come here with a mission and with a passion of helping the country in creating some big companies in these very premises in these very rooms in the premises of our sme clusters can we grow some apples not this apple which we eat but this apple to which we talk i have my dream and my vision and my passion to create apples to create googles and to create microsofts in this country out of our msmes you must have heard a lot about the discussion as to why india can't create such organizations and such companies and also i would like to say that you might you might be aware that apple was born out of a garage similar would be the story of many big corporations many, many big companies uh, i i i can say from my my experience that even mercedes airbus or ikea at some point of time would have been an sme even mcdonald or starbucks would have started as an sme and today you know their market cap and their revenues and their valuation so friends believe me uh, these companies which today are big they must have started some time as a small company and it is in a process of nurturing them it's a process of helping them and making them them big i can also say that a country's economy is as robust as its companies you might be knowing that in rich countries which rich economies there are handful of companies which contribute a handsome amount or a handsome proportion of gdp in those countries not only that you might be also aware that almost 3 to 4% individuals on this earth they control more than 90% of the wealth of the of of the planet earth so how how does this happen how have they been able to do this it is through successful companies good companies and they create they make value out of those companies and they out out of those processes so there is no alternative for a country to make a robust economy uh, if you want to uh, make a robust economy you have to make robust companies for the moment uh, since we are in a very drastic situation we have to work hard we can't relax even for a moment we can't sleep peacefully even for one night i i i am myself not at peace when i can when i, when I visualize people who who are about to sleep even without food so it is my earnest request to all of you to be always alert watchful and to help uh, our msme units in this uh, situation of crisis every day and every hour we should try to save one company we should try to save certain jobs and we should try to to 
to, to save certain opportunities from, from being extinguished or, or from being vanquished. Honestly, honestly speaking, uh, uh, I would say that right from now, right from now, uh, each one of us should un undertake upon himself and herself the responsibility of helping the MSMEs sail through this process so that uh, the jobs are the jobs are not lost. At the same time, we have to uh, also, in the long run, uh, we have to focus our attention for on important things for creating uh, new companies so that new jobs are created and new opportunities are created. Friends, making a successful MSME is a two-way process. One process is top-down where you can weave a number of MSMEs, a number of ancillaries around a big company. The other process is a bottom-up uh, process where amongst, from amongst a large number of those smaller units, you nurture everyone but you motivate, protect, select and promote a few of them which have potential to, to grow into, into big companies. My own, as I said earlier, my own uh, yardstick of success of my career and my assignment here would be to create certain champion, internationally champion companies, some world beating companies and uh, that is the mission and that is the person with which I have come here. I in fact, uh, I can also tell you that even before joining today, I started my work. I have been in touch with uh, a few colleagues who are sitting here. Uh, last few days I have been in touch with them and I have, been, I have already uh, started working uh, 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 with them. So. I pray God to give us, to give me and you the strength to fulfill the expectations of particularly the MSME sector and of the nation from us and to help the MSME sector to sail through this process, to retain the jobs and in the, in the longer run to create new units and out of them to create certain world-beating companies. I wish you good luck. Thank you very much.